What's up, guys? We're back with day two of our source run. Just to recap, we are at level 10. I would say probably about 10 and a third. Something like that. Tote batons, of course. Smash. And so we're going to go ahead and take care of our daily things. Let's go grab a horse from the horsery. And oh, that crazy horse looks like crap today. Let's take the dark horse. And let's head on over to the floundry. Grab a fish hatchet, use it, and equip it. Consult about, pick a testy. Which one? I got two. Oh, they mean if I was, okay. All right, let's uh, do a quick refresh here and open up the guide. Let's see what we're wearing. Put on that water use tape, put on our KOL snow globe. Let's swap that out for the gold detective badge. Don't have a shirt to wear. Uh, we'll probably end up putting on the garbage shirt in a little bit here. Uh, but first, summon our pants. Let's do. No, we already did the, uh, we'll do Spooky. I'm going to go with the Big and Stone again. Sacrifice some self-respect. Plus three Moxie. Hmm. Too bad we don't have the one for Miscality stats. All right, let's go ahead and put our pants on since we're currently pantsless. Well, I'm going to go to our inventory. Let's examine our briefcase and switch over to HP MP regeneration. And I'm going to switch over to spell damage. Eventually. There we go. All right. Let's check our our daily deeds here. We'll take a shower. Visit the chateau desk. Let's get our other tower key. And may as well go with the barrel hoop earring. Enhance substats. What do we got? Digitize and duplicate. Okay, let's hit the... Well, actually, let's check our... Calculate the universe. Okay, we got a little while there. Let's go to the love tunnel. Actually... I'm going to restore some MP first. And put on that barrel hoop earring. Okay, now we'll hit the love tunnel. Got a pretty decent pool of MP at this point, 1197. We still have, okay, because the queen was a free fight. You know, maybe we should have hit the queen again real quick while we had all that stuff active. Except we don't have any um, Robin's eggs left, so that wouldn't have been a good idea after all, would it? 
All right. We will go with the Paulettes. Fight the Engineer. Stuffed and Weapon. Use our cannon. I did 12 damage. Enraged, you fly off the handle, savagely beating your opponent for 12 damage. All right, let's grab a lobotomy. And let's take out the equivocator. All right, how much source essence do we have? Probably should do the general tab instead. We have 23, so that's not enough. Gonna need a little bit more. And we have to hit the daily dungeon still as well. All right, so let's grab some chocolate. Yeah, we do have a ghost to fight. Let's go take out Lord Spooky Raven. Well, not Lord Spooky Raven. Montague. Lord Montague Spooky Raven. Alright, let's trap that ghost. And we got a signet. All right, let's put on our Ring of Detect Boring Doors, and we'll swap over to the Rock and Robin. Let's go to our inventory and visit our mumming trunk. And we'll dress our Robin up as Oliver Cromwell. Do you think Oliver Cromwell might have been a pedophile? Is that a possibility? I don't even know why that's a question. All right, let's hit the daily dungeon. We'll use our lock picks. Use our lock picks again. We'll avoid the trap with our 11 foot pole and save a turn. Apathetic lizard man. Oh, I hate this guy. I feel like you have too many skills to pick from. There we go. Stuffed mortar shell. Come on. Respond. Maybe if we click the button just over and over. There we go. All right. We'll go through the boring door. In fact, the whole daily dungeon is kind of starting to go a little bit boring. Let's use that tonic gin and wish for some wisdom. And we'll skip to the 13th chamber. A dodecapede. All right, there we go. Finally, we've reached the end. Okay, let's head on over to... Yep, we need Sneaky Pete's. Let's grab that. And let's head on over to the Snow Joe. And let's get our free fights out of the way.
All right, let's switch to extract for a few moments here. And let's see if we can get our source essence up enough to get our three items, uh, our three consumables for the day. So kind of wondering with the uh, reduced stats we get here, whether we're going to make it to level 11 anytime soon. Really the question is whether we can get to level 12 quickly enough to start the war. If not, then I'm probably going to hold off on um, harvesting our thanks garden today. Uh, not real much, not much point in doing it if we're only going to get three cornucopias and we're not even going to be able to, you know, have a chance of finishing today. So agents can override snow joe fights. All right, let's see what happens here. Agent Connor again. I think you would know better. How's it going, Fartington? He pauses to crack all the vertebrae in his neck, giving us a chance to punch him. There we go. I wonder, uh, we should probably watch to see if those cost adventures. I haven't actually been paying attention to the, uh, Agent fights to see if they've been costing us adventures or not. All right, that is number six. We have four more to go. And what did we need? Like seven source essence. So we basically have that taken care of. Two more to go. Last free fight. And you know what? We didn't put on. Yeah, we didn't put those on. We kept the accelerator pack on. And we still have the ring of detect boring doors on. Good enough. Not good enough. Got to do a little bit better than that. All right, so let's swap those out. And we don't have much to do except for the chasm and the curved. We already have our pirate fledges. So, you know what I've never tried? Never tried wishing for a smut orc pervert. I bet it doesn't work, or else I would have heard about that, I would think. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so forget that. Let's switch over to our reanimated reanimator. And let's wish for a lobster frogman. And um, yeah, we have duplicate active. Are we gonna be able to survive if we duplicate this thing? Do we still have? Yeah, we still have quite a bit of stuff active here. Okay, let's just give it a shot. Go back. We'll wink. Duplicate. Oh, so close. We almost died. Exploding cigar. All right. Whoa. What? just happened why did we get three
that's strange. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, well, we only have to fight two more in that case. Yeah, um, maybe duplicate works different in the source path aside from having more casts. I don't know. Any of you guys know, let me know what's going on um, in the comments down below. I've never had duplicate triplicate the monsters, you know? So, switch back to our Robin. Let's go back to our genie bottle. And this time, we're going to wish to fight Camel's Toe. Now, if we were going to go to the hole in the sky, I would probably sniff the Camel's Toe at this point so that we can make sure that we're going to fight a bunch of them. Shh, you know what we didn't do? We did not switch to digitize. So I guess we'll have to sniff the toe. All right. So just to try to salvage that real quick, let's head to the castle. And let's hit the top floor. And we'll do a shattering punch. Man, I'm making some stupid mistakes today. I didn't sleep very much last night, so that's my excuse. Okay, so we used shattering punch, so that doesn't cost us anything. And then we're going to use a stench jelly. And then we'll adventure here again. We're going to pick the punk rock choice, check behind the trash can, and investigate the whirly gigs and gim crackery. Now let's head to the hole in the sky. And we have the camel's toe olfacted. Let's switch to our space jellyfish. And next adventure, or next turn, should be that non-combat. And we'll follow our jellyfish, Hemis Saran, to the astronomer and get our star chart. Okay, let's switch back to Francine Sinatra, our Rock and Robin. And let's see how long it takes us to get that key. Man, so what are we going to digitize? I guess what we'll digitize, since we didn't use it here, is um, we can fax in a ghost. Yeah. We could fax in a ghost. We could... Can we digitize the modern zombie? I know we can uh I know we can use the reanimated reanimator to copy it, so I don't see why we wouldn't be able to digitize the modern zombie. Alright, we need one more star. Let's go. Come on, camel's toe. Okay, little man in the canoe. Better give us a star. Or I'm going to bring him back to life and kill him again. All right, there we go. Make our star key. Now let's request a fax. And head on up to the top floor of our VIP lounge while we wait for that fax to arrive. Oh, that's pretty quick service today. By the way, thank you to everybody who runs the faxing services. Um, Crowther, I think, is the one who does easy fax. 
your efforts are definitely appreciated. Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy too. Yeah, we get three of them. That just must be a source path thing. We get three instead of two. So that gives us 15 pixels. So we're already halfway to our digital key. That means we only need three more ghosts, assuming we get five pixels every time. So the mystery solved. Duplicate creates three. That's probably why the mountain man killed us so easily yesterday when we duplicated him. All right, so let's refresh. Let's open up the guide. Calculate the universe. Am I scrolling too quickly? Or is it just not there? There we go. Okay. 99 to get three adventures. Wait. Oh my god. So dumb. We faxed in a ninja snowman yesterday. We faxed him in. Gosh, I've been playing standard too much. I got a painting of a ninja snowman assassin in my chateau. Holy cow. All right, that's plus six adventures there. So, man, I'm kind of at a loss here. It's like, what am I even doing anymore? Okay, we need six fastener, seven lumber. I'm going to hold off on that just in case we don't make it today um, high enough in level to really do anything. So at this point, I think what we'll want to do is we have a few options to try to get to level 11. Uh, we have our time spinner. We know that the compounded experience gives us plenty of experience points. Um, what do we need to get to level 11? We need about 1,200. Uh, we're going to get probably, what, 150 per compounded experience to our main stat. So if we use, like, seven or eight of those... That'd probably get us to level 11, but we're most likely going to want to time spin some food. A little bit, at least. Oh, you know what? We probably only need one hack to Gibson. Since we have our six Pilsners to consume today. Not until we get to level 11, of course. Did we plant any mushrooms? No, we did not. So the Gru Egg Omelette is free to craft, so we could craft one, but we're going to need a spooky mushroom to do that. And I don't want to waste a bunch of adventures going to the spooky forest to get one. But if we had some uh, stench jelly, then it wouldn't be too bad. So we'll have to hold off on that, um, hopefully, and see if we can basically delay eating till we start the war or till we get to the island to want to start the war so we can harvest some some jelly so moral of the story is we need the power level real quick and so we have a couple options we could go see what the oracle wants us to do next Bat rat and a rat bat burrow. We need 11 combats there. That'll give us our next source skill, and then we can port scan a bunch of ang agents. Well, obviously only three. In fact, let's go ahead and educate port scan real quick. And we could put our shirt, our garbage shirt on to assist with that. Pretty sure we determined that the uh, port scanned combats count towards that 11 combat counter. But we'll find out if that's for real. Or 
All right, let's head on over there to the Bat Rat and Rat Bat Burrow. Port scan, attack. Set attack. There we go. All right. Bat Red's favorite delicacy is a cheese covered. It's cheese covered mosquitoes. Apparently, I never uh, adventure in this zone. So that's two combats. This should be three. Man, I'm wondering. No, I just don't want to risk it. Never mind. Forget I even started to say something. We could just port scan the agent and not have to worry about doing so many combats to get them. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it like this. Because I'm not making good decisions today. Alright, that should be combat number five. Now let's punch him. There we go. Alright, that leveled us up to 11. Um, do we want to continue here and finish this little quest. You know, we might as well do the other port scan and get that done. So this should be combat number seven, unless I've forgotten how to count today. That should be number eight. Come on. Any time now. There we go. And this should be number nine. Whoa. You nearly had me that time. All right, that's the last poor scan that we have. Let's just switch back to extract and duplicate. should be combat number 10 so we should be getting the no spoon okay does it count with the digitized one I think we determined it did yes it does there's our no spoon all right let's head back and spoon the Oracle no spoon her rather and let's go to the manor and let's learn another skill so the guide thinks we should do data siphon next i'm kind of thinking the same thing actually let's go ahead and train that and let's just go see what um, zone she wants us to do next we have a uh, lobster frogman coming up Sometime within the next nine turns. What should I do, Oracle? What should I do? Haunted Kitchen. Okay, let's um, let's hit the council. Now, one thing with the shirt, um, if you haven't used the garbage shirt yet, it doubles your experience bonus, but it only works during combat. So each combat, you lose a scrap from the shirt. Um, so far, uh, as far as I can tell, anyway, it does not work outside of combat. So if we use it while reading Compound Experience, for example, it's not going to do anything. So right now, we may want to take the shirt off. Let's just um, let's hit the Haunted Kitchen and do a combat real quick and see how many scraps we have left on the shirt.
25 more useful scraps. So 25 combats, and then the shirt will be destroyed, basically. Uh, if we really want to micromanage, which is probably the best thing to do anyway, we would want to wait till we see the agent counter, and when we're about to have an agent fight, put the shirt back on. So let's see if I remember to do that. We'll get a wad of used tape, and we'll equip that. And let's head to the Black Forest. Let's prep real quick for that. Get our reassembled Blackbird out. Let's change our encounters to positive instead of negative. We'll unaffect the Sonata of Sneakiness. We'll need to alter our interest. And at this point, we're at minus five. We could swap out our fish hatchet for something else. Let's summon a couple smithsmiths real quick here. There we go. Let's do one more. And I think we'll save the third summon for the clip art just in case. I think what we'll want is the half a purse. That should help with the nun meat quest quite a bit. Let's use both of those. 300 adventures should cover us for the day. And we'll put the ladle on, of course. And now we're at plus five, so that should be good. We don't have to feed our car. I think plus five is plenty. Let's head on into the Black Forest. And we're hoping to get the Black Panther and the Black Adder pretty quickly here so that we can switch our familiar back. I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, Totentons, why didn't you run the exoskeleton so you can make the bridge truss? Yeah, I could have done that. We could have ran the exoskeleton for a long freaking time and gotten the bridge. I accept your point. Oh, you want me to address the point? Well, I'm not going to. All right, so still no Black Panther, no Black Adder. We got our beehive. Stupid friar. Two-fifths of the way. Here's our wiener dog adventure. Still see no agent timer. And of course we get the non-combat. So we'll attack the bushes. Our item drops are only at 215, so I doubt we'll get three blackberries. We did not. There's that black adder finally. About time you show up. Got our sunken eyes, now we just need the broken wings. All right, let's switch back to our Rockin' Robin. Or do we want to do the Robart Tender for a little bit? And do we have any thin black candles? Did we get any? I don't think we did. We got one. Yeah, because we didn't spend very many combats in the top floor there. Alright, so let's just get a few booze ingredients. I'm 
going to switch to the Robin. Yeah, I thought we were about to get that. All right, I doubt we'll get another non-combat here, though, so we probably won't be making anything with these blackberries. And we only have three now anyway. But we could, you know, at least make some moccasins or something to help with the initiative test. When we get to layer. All right, there's the black market. Let's head into the black market. And it looks normal. All right, let's grab a can of black paint and the forged identification documents. Take a quick vacation. And we'll put on our pirate fledges, put our fish hatchet back on. Let's swap our mood back and refocus our interest. All right, unaffect that. Negative 27. I think we could probably do a little bit better. Let's hit our work shed. And yep, that all sounds good. We'll do some soda bread to get it the rest of the way up. And let's do the minus combat. All right, so that's negative 28. Let's head on over to the Pirate's Cove and the poop deck. Come on, do something. There we go. One more ghost to go. We got our key. And what do we got till the next ghost? 29. We have uh, Agent coming up in about six turns. Six combats, rather. Oops, picked the wrong option. All right, let's continue. There's our last lobster frog man that we need. We're still going to have a few more that we have to fight. Wind up owl. Well, owl B. That might come in handy later. Finally, we get the uh, the one we were looking for. All right, so let's head to Olodex. Four more till the agent. There's our groovy pirate. Question is, I'm pretty sure we'll survive, but we'll see what happens. Why do we look like a hippie? I did not put the hippie outfit on. Seems like that happened yesterday, too. Must be switching it when it's doing a mood, and I'm just not noticing. Okay, well, you know what? While we're in here, just to make sure that I don't forget about it, I'm going to put the garbage shirt back on. And we'll do some fuzzy earmuffs. All right, let's head back below deck. There is our gaudy pirate. Let's see if we survive duplication. Three gaudy keys. Yeah, too bad they're quest items.
You unlock the box and find nothing but a bunch of useless costume jewelry. That's what happens when you use the gaudy key when you don't need it anymore. Okay, so we got our talisman. Let's restore some HP and let's head to the haunted kitchen so we can get that agent to show up. All right, we should have an agent next combat. Okay, we should have an agent next combat. Let's see if it works this time. on what it's all like you put on your garbage shirt agent nullified you know what haunted kitchen probably is a place that it can't show yeah I bet that's what it is so let's just hit a different zone Luckily, we need to get the, uh, the no spoon anyway, so it's not too much of a waste. Put on our talisman. And head to the palindome. Here we go. Hope it doesn't get a dude right away and the agent kills the dude. Well, sure, I'll accept that photograph of a red nugget. I mean, I don't want used candy, but a picture of used candy and a photograph of an ostrich. That sounds nice. An ostrich egg. Ostrich in egg form. All right, a tan gnat. Let's uh, snoke bomb that one. Let's head to our uh, car and feed it real quick to here eat some meat in the form of soda bread. Jeez, go away. There's our photograph of Telly Sva I mean, God. Okay, we'll sniff Bob. And that's uh, one reason I'm kind of uneasy about using our time spinner solely to level up because I like to save some minutes so that we can refight one of the bobs if we need to or in some cases a pygmy shaman such as the case may be all right we need two more dudes after this bob i'm not convinced that source agent is coming there he goes he heard me It's Agent Connor. Are you Agent Connor? That agent fight was a little bit tougher. All right, let's take that garbage shirt back off. One more dude to go. Since we've already banished everything else and we olf one of the bobs, it doesn't matter because we got him anyway. 
I was going to say, if we still got the stab bats, we could have just macro meteorited the stab bats and we would have gotten Bob almost for sure. All right, let's go read the book and let's go tell Dr. Awkward how crappy his book is and how we threw it away immediately because it's also something that just happened. All right, let's use volume two. Go talk to Mr. Alarm. You don't work for Dr. Awkward, do you? No, dude, I just need to find out how to kill him. All right, so... May as well head over to Whitey's Grove right now. Let's swap our mood. And let's make sure that Sonata is unaffected. Swap that. That puts us at minus five. Gonna slip our pants off real quick. That's plus zero. And uh, we're still driving stealthily, so we'll stop driving that way. All right, let's head to Whitey's Grove and see if we can get the ingredients for some wet stunt nut stew. So what I'm going to do here is if I don't get the snake next. What? Didn't even get the lion, lion oil. All right. Hold on. Full stop. All right, let's go back. This time, better give me that lion oil. There we go. All right, what's next? disintegrate this one and use that white page and let's fight a white snake and luckily for the snake we got that rib right away otherwise I don't know what I would have done to him Okay, let's switch this all back. And let's um, cook some stew. There we go. Got that. Now let's go talk to Mr. Alarm and get that mega gem. And then let's go kill Dr. Awkward. Eva, can I stack Rod's sad-ass dork cats in a cave? There we go. Staff of fats. All right, so now we can take this stupid gem back off and take off that talisman. No ghost or bust yet. Let's just head to the haunted kitchen and let's finish up getting that no spoon. And I'm pretty much lost track of the combats, but since we just got a wiener dog adventure, I'm assuming it was at five, which means that this lobster frogman would be number seven. Paper towel geist should be number eight. Possessed silverware drawer, number nine. And there's a spooky raven billiards room key that we don't need. Zombie Chef, and we should have one more to go, which is going to be our digitized ghost, which should give us the remaining pixels that we need. 
There we go. Yep, no spoon, and we got our pixels. So let's go spoon with the oracle real quick. And let's get another skill. And let's make our key. All right, so we don't need the ghost to be digitized any longer. We only have one wish left. I think we'll want to save that wish. And since we stupidly wasted a fax yesterday, we can't fax in a modern zombie. And we're still at, yeah, we need about 1,700 substats, main stats, to get to level 12. We still have the temple, the desert, and the manor. How are we doing on clovers? We had three clovers. And we can always grab one real quick here. All right, let's turn the crank. And let's grab our other clover. All right, so we may as well head over to the desert. And let's get our turns of, you know what we'll do? Let's, uh, let's kill these locusts real quick. Now let's head over to our witch's set. Let's fight a knight. And then let's do what we should have done first and educate ourselves. And then let's do that again. All right, now let's head back to the desert. We have nine turns of ultra hydrated left. Let's just hit that like that. Looks like we got a source agent coming up in eight. So we'll actually want to stop this in a moment here. All right, so I'm going to hit stop after. And let's see what we got left. Four more to go. All right, so let's do three. Lack of locusts. All right. There's our first free witches fight to save us a uh, turn of ultra hydrated. All right, and let's see if. Let's see what happens when we do we get an agent fight. We're at 33 turns. Oh no, 39. So looking at the PvP.
All right, so we still have one more turn of Ultra Hydrated left. All right, so that did advance the exploration timer and did give us worm riding pages. Let's see what the agent fight itself does. That did burn our ultra hydrated. Didn't advance the exploration though. Okay. All right, so let's take our shirt off. Let's assemble a clover. And let's hit the oasis. Get it. 20 turns of ultra hydrated. All right, so let's head back to the desert. Let's do. eight turns and see what happens with that we're getting pretty close to level 12 so not too worried about hitting that what I think I'll do is uh, we'll get the pyramid opened up not opened up like to where we can go into it because we still have to do the manor and the hidden temple but we'll find the pyramid if we're not level 12 by then, we'll use the time spinner. Go back in time maybe once or twice. All right, we need three more pages. Yeah, we only need 159 sub points to hit level 12. So I think we're going to hit it pretty soon. Here we have 12 of Ultra Hydrated left. Let's do two more turns and see if that gets us our worm riding pages. And one adventure got it for us. Let's put our snow globe back on. Let's switch to our tot and head to the oasis. All right, so we have four turns of delay here until we get, well, until we can get the stone rose. So hopefully we'll get the drum machine before that. One more turn of delay. Jeez. I hate it when they do that. What do our uh, banishes look like? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. All right, there's the blur. Got a drum machine. And we hit level 12. And there's our stone rose. So let's go turn all that in and find the pyramid. Oh, that's all. Okay, time to worm ride. And now let's head to the council. Get the quest for the war. And there we go. All right, so we're level 12. We're ready to go start the war. We haven't eaten or drank anything yet today. Still have 22 adventures to go. So at this point, I'm going to take a break, and we'll pick this back up in the next video. So make sure you all tune in soon. And let's see if we can finish this up on day two.